Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to discuss about array of objects in C++. So before starting, you can note my information, which include my app, books and YouTube channel. You can use these information for your study purposes. So array of objects, as you all know, array is a collection of similar type of elements. So as we can create array of built in data types like int or float, similarly, C++ allows us to create array of objects. So an array of objects collects a group of objects. Similar to array of int or float, array of objects also stores continuously in memory. So we can access individual elements of array through index number and member of an object through the dot operator. So now I will explain you the concept of array of object with the help of example. So you can see that uh, a class specification is mentioned here. Name of class is person. It has two attributes, age and name, and it has two methods, read and show. Methods declarations are available here. Now the last statement is showing how we can create array of objects. So here P is working as array of object and it is capable of storing information of 10 persons. So you can say that P is considered as array of objects. So this is the complete uh, program uh, for the example I have shown you. So name of class is person, two attributes age and name are declared. Then first function is read, which is responsible for reading name and age from user. Second function is display, which is responsible for printing name and is on console. So this is the definition of person class. Now, after definition of person class, you can see main function is defined. So inside main function, the statement person P of 10 is known as array of objects. So here P is uh, considered, P can be considered as array of object and it can store uh, information of 10 persons. So first, uh, the cout statement will uh, display how many persons information you want to enter. So the information will be stored inside size. Then a loop is maintained here, which will repeat size times. And uh, p of i dot read will read information of a particular student. So initially value of i is zero. So p then i becomes zero so p zero dot read means inside that array zeroth index a uh, person detail will be read then i plus uh, plus will make i one then p of one dot read means uh, one index person information will be read by the user and so on so suppose size is five so this loop will repeat five times means you have to enter uh, age and name of five persons only then uh, to print the entered information again a for loop is maintained again it is rotating size time and here p of i dot display function is called so uh, according to the size the loop will repeat and p of i dot display function will print the information stored at particular index so friends if you want to store information of more than one entities into a single variable then you can convert that variable into array and here variable is uh, treated as object. So you can say that array is known as array of objects. Now this array of objects will be converted into array of pointers to object. So you can uh, see that in previous program size is 10 and suppose user want to enter information of only five uh, persons, then five blocks are remaining. Uh, unused so if you want to save your memory which is not used then you can convert your array of object into array of pointers to object so uh, you might be knowing that when we are using pointer then we can implement the concept of dynamic memory allocation so first i am going to explain this slide then i will uh, uh, explain an example related to this topic so array of object is a better approach when we have large number of data to be managed. Second point says, but if we have less number of data, then this leads to a problem of wastage of large amount of memory. So 
to avoid wastage of memory we can replace static memory allocation with runtime memory allocation using the concept of dynamic objects so first you have to understand the concept of dynamic objects so for this purpose you can uh, watch my video which is based on dynamic object creation uh, last point says when large amount of memory is required and the actual size of memory is decided at run time then dynamic object creation is better approach than static object creation so in the previous program the static uh, memory allocation was there now in uh, in this program i am going to show you how dynamic operations can be performed uh, while declaring array of objects so you can see that this class definition is same as uh, i have uh, explained in the previous program uh, it contains two attributes age and name then read and uh, display functions are defined now here you have to uh, notice a change this is known as array of pointer to object so here asterisk p is declared so p is pointer and it will contain addresses of 10 different locations then size will be entered by the user uh, how many persons information the user want to enter then according to the size this loop will repeat so you can see that for every index a new operator will allocate a specific memory which is based on person so uh, first time value of i is 0 so p0 will be uh, uh, allocating a block for person uh, to store uh, information related to person then p of i dot read will read that information from user so you can see that first a particular block is allocated and then read uh, function will be executed so if uh, size uh, value of size variable is 5 then five time this memory allocation will be done and five times read operation will be uh, performed so uh, as we have declared array of pointer array of pointer to object instead of array of objects so it occupies less amount of memory as compared to array of object and the required amount of memory uh, for storing information will be allocated here so if we compare array of object with array of pointer to object we will find out that array of pointer to object saves lot of memory if if we are uh, entering limited amount of information now with the help of this second loop you can see that a uh, display function is called and this loop is repeating size times so all the information which is entered by the user will display on console now uh, if we want to destroy the dynamically allocated memory then again for loop is implemented and delete p of i will delete all the uh, allocated memory uh, by a new operator automatically so friends when we want to implement static objects then we can create array of object and if you want to allocate memory at run time or you want to save your unused memory then you can first declare array of pointer to object and then you can uh, allocate memory for a specific block and uh, then you can store the information also you can destroy that dynamically allocated memory with the help of delete operator so implement these programs on your laptop so that you can understand the concept or you can differentiate between static memory location and dynamic memory location thank you for watching this video